Yeah, we don't know what it's gonna do. We'll find out there. <laughs> yeah, made in flight. You know, you never know. But I think these uh, come, you know, come fairly, fairly tuned. Nice. How's it feel, Abel? And this is on the 3S, too. It's not overreactive. It's not? Okay, good. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, especially in Acro, right? No, that's in self level. Okay, self level, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's frame, plus the sense, whichever way you're pointed. In line of sight, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm used to line of sight. I do I do a lot of line of sight flying, more so than than yeah, anything yeah. else, yeah. Does it doesn't have like lights in the front? Yeah, I mean it's like yeah, it's like all four corners look you know look the same. You're right. You're right. Okay, let's try it in rate mode. Yep, okay, that was self level. And this is in uh, three, three S as well. On three cell. Seem to have pretty, you know, pretty good punch out for uh, three cell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's rate mode. Okay. You yeah, no self well right now. Yes, it, it's got a lost peeper. Like if you uh, lose it, it also has a low uh, low voltage beeper as well. Yeah, which is nice because I'll be honest with you, man. There's a few times I sure could have used that beeper. <laughs> then get lost in the woods somewhere. Okay, great. Nice. Wobbly. Jello, yeah. yeah, I see that. Somebody else complained about that. They said that was the only. It's the camera. Yeah, um, yeah. It's hard mounted to the frame. Be honest with you, I'm used to the jello though. <laughs> Man, like all the toys I've been flying lately. Yeah, yeah like everything I have. Nice. Hmm, behind that tree, cool. I mean, for the price, man, I mean, it's amazing, yeah. I mean, I remember, like, a couple of years ago, you know, that would have been, like, you know, been, like, 400 bucks. Yeah. 
Matter of fact, I remember I bought one like that for 400 bucks. A Storm Racer. Remember the Storm Racers? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> cool. Nice. <laughs> Um, is it is it like hard to land it? Yeah. Yeah. I tilted the camera pretty high up. Okay. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. Yeah, because I had it uh, kind of tilted down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I noticed, man, the receiver's so big that you almost have to like like have it at a at a pretty good angle. So, man, what do you think? Pretty good for oh, yeah. for stock, right? All it needs to get done is hooked up to the computer and tuned a little bit. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, I mean, a couple guys are actually have uh, you know settings for it already. They've already come up with some. Download. Yeah, yeah. And these are good motors, man. Yeah, these are pretty good. I would, good. I would turn sharply. You could see. You could hear the. You said the expo is kind of little. You know, little. Yeah, you know, that, that's squishy. a personal preference. Everybody has. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Your yeah, flies a little different. It's up to you how you like your yeah. expo. So. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of power. It's pretty nice, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it, man. You know, for yeah. the money, man, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah, amazing.
How you doing? My name is Abel. Uh, I go by Navi Hawk Online. And I uh, just finished flying the JJ Pro 200. Made in flight and made an FPV flight. And it flies pretty good. I like it. It's uh, pretty agile. It's got some red bottom motors on it. So it's very well known in the FPV community. They're really powerful motors. So it flies really good. Um, the camera worked okay. The receiver worked okay. Decent range on the video transmission. So all in all, I give it a pretty good rating. It was fun. I like awesome. It. And it's awesome. definitely a great value. Yes. Yes, yeah. it is. Hey, Abel, man. I appreciate it, man. No All right. Thank you, man.